Hello and welcome to SQL Explorer or SQL Explorer. This is a new uh, utility built in FileMaker that we're kind of excited about. And one of the ideas here is to get FileMaker folks familiar with the SQL syntax so they can take full advantage of the new execute SQL function that's available in FileMaker 12. So I've, I've kind of looked at my instructions here. I've only got two steps that says I need to follow before I can start uh, building a query. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, dive in and create a new query. Oop, and I got a message here saying uh, I need to add some table occurrence references to this file and then I can start building queries on those uh, table occurrence references. So I'm going to go into File Manage Database and go to my relationship graph. We see I've got my table occurrences I'm using up here for the Explorer itself and let's just add table occurrences that we want to do our queries against. Now I've already set up a external data um, source uh, for this file, this SQL sample data file. Um, but if you don't have one set up, you can do it right from here using this add FileMaker data source step. But we're just going to use this SQL sample data for now. And I'm going to choose my companies table. And I'm going to add the table occurrence here. And uh, that's all I need to do. Now I should be able to build a query uh, against that table occurrence. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new query. And I'm going to name my first query hello world and then I'm gonna uh, just kind of walk through these steps um, and uh, see uh, if I can build this. So the first thing it asked me to do is uh, select a table occurrence to query. Uh, I only have one set up so this step should be pretty easy and there's companies basically anything we add to the graph will show up in this drop down and we can do queries against that stuff. So I'm just going to leave my uh, single table for now. We see we have the option for adding relationships, um, but that's something we'll cover in a later video. So let's do uh, save and continue. And then we move on to fields. And uh, this is basically for just selecting the fields or the columns that we want to see in our SQL query. And we uh, worked hard to make this reference look like something uh, that would be familiar to FileMaker folks, where you choose a table and then you just select the fields you want to see kind of like uh, when you set up a layout in FileMaker. So uh, we're just going to do company name and company URL and then we'll uh, move on here. And then we have the option for uh, setting up some fields to be searched. Um, we can set up fields that we'll do searches in, kind of like doing FileMaker searches. This is optional right now, um, so I'm just going to skip this step being uh, my first query. And then we get to the sort step, uh, which is also optional. So I guess I can sort my uh, SQL queries as well. But I'll just skip the, the optional steps for now. And then uh, the last frame we get to here is this review section. And what we see is that the uh, Explorer has built a query for us in syntax based on the information that we entered. And we can go ahead and run that query by hitting this button down here. And we see we get some results down here. And what's happening is, is the uh, execute SQL query is functioning, um, writing the results to a variable, and then we're just using a virtual list trick to uh, read that variable in this portal down here. So we were able to search this table occurrence even though we haven't set any uh, layouts up or anything like that and basically return all the results from that table. Um, we have a couple of other uh, handy little tools here that you can use. You can uh, copy this um, to the uh, clipboard so if you wanted to see that statement uh, somewhere else you could do this but it's not formatted for FileMaker yet so you wouldn't be able to just kind of drop this into the data viewer or into one of your functions but we did also provide this button this cal uh, copy as calculation so if you hit this you can then paste uh, the calculation into your own scripts or into your own uh, calculations and it's already formatted and ready to go and we've got comments in here kind of describing what's happening. Here you see the uh, SQL query itself. We're also doing some things to deal with uh, carriage returns and, and some other things to make it a nice experience. And then you see if we hit evaluate, the query runs and, and we get our results. Um, so the idea here is that you'll be able to easily build queries um, in the Explorer here and copy and paste them into your uh, own solution for your own reporting and, and needs. I've also got a, a couple of other things here where you can uh, copy the results um, into a spreadsheet format and then open something like Numbers or Excel and uh, paste those results in. Which is uh, 
nice for accountants and folks who uh, use a lot of spreadsheets being able to spot those and we also just have a, uh, a straight export function here as well exporting a CSV which will kind of be the standard for numbers or for Excel and that should be able to open them uh, right up for you so that is basically the end of uh, hello world and getting started uh, thank you very much